Hi everyone, welcome back to Gadgets Portal and today in this video I am going to run some benchmarks on this new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I will also compare some of the results with the new iPhone 6 here and also the Galaxy S5. Now before I start, let's quickly talk about the specs of this new Note 4. Beyond doubt Samsung packed the best hardware in the market. Like every year we have got two versions of Note. One with octa-core Samsung Exynos processor, another with quad-core Snapdragon Crate processor. Luckily this year we have the Snapdragon version clocked at 2.65 GHz and the chipset is Snapdragon 805. The GPU is Adreno 420. Note 4 packs a quad HD display with 515 ppi. The storage is 32 GB for the base model but you will get around 24.5 GB out of the box. The RAM is 3 gig and the battery is of 3220 mAh. That is only 20 mAh more than its predecessor. Well, now let's get started with the benchmark and first I'll run a cross-platform benchmark. I also want to mention that the Samsung Galaxy S5 I have here is with the Samsung Exynos octa-core processor. I have already run this benchmark so let's directly check the results. Now you can notice the Note 4 and iPhone 6 have got almost the same overall score. The outstanding system score on the iPhone 6 helped in getting this good result but in almost all the areas, especially in the graphics department, Note 4 beats iPhone 6. The web performance of iPhone 6 is also very good. Now if you compare the result with the 7 months old Galaxy S5, there is basically no comparison possible. Samsung significantly improved the hardware on the Note 4. Well I have another cross-platform benchmark to compare. It's 3D Mark Gamers benchmark. Well among these 3 devices, Note 4 score is highest, it's 19,899 and let me show you the breakup. Let me also compare this side by side with the iPhone 6's result which is 17,433. So the iPhone 6 has put up a good fight against this Galaxy Note 4. Now here on the S5, I am used to get around 14 or 15,000. I don't know exactly what happened but I have got only 9,756 here. Next I'll try the Antutu 5. Well, the new Note 4 scores 46,439 and in fact previously I have got as high as 48,000 on this phone. S5 score is also great 42,947. Here is the breakup you can pause and compare. Now the Nina Mark 2 score on both of these devices are almost same and it's of course the best result you can expect. 59.7 fps on the Note 4 and 59.9 fps on the S5. Next let's try the Velamo benchmark which is for internet browser and again the score is excellent. It's 3454 and on the Galaxy S5 I've got around 3000 actually. Here is the breakup you can pause and check. If you are interested, you can also check this detailed score. Next I have for you the Geekbench 3 another multi-core processor benchmark tool. The single core score is 1084 and multi core score is 3172. The next benchmark I am going to run is the quadrant standard. There you go, I have got 24280 and here is the breakup you can pause and check. If you compare the result with the Galaxy S5s, you can see almost the same score here. 
Well, this awesome benchmark performance of this Galaxy Note 4 show how much powerful this phone is and you can play almost all the games on the Play Store. The user interface is also handled quite efficiently. Stay tuned for more in-depth reviews on this phone and don't forget to subscribe. You can check the camera samples on my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal and also on my website gadgetsportal.in. That's all for now guys. Thanks for watching and keep in touch.